Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create an office layout plan. And also, I'm going to show you how to create your own shape so you can label the office layout plan with COVID restrictions. So first of all, I'm on the new page, you can see there. Now what I want is a floor plan, but if you go into categories, that's only there because I've just recently done one. But normally you would go into categories and it's under maps and floor plan. So I'm going to click on that. And then you've got lots and lots of different ones. This this is the one I'm going to use. So it's just called floor plan. I'll open that one and click on create. Now when you create this, you get quite a lot of stencils. So if I just scroll up a little bit, you can see how many you've got. Quick shapes, annotations, building core, all this sort of stuff you've got come down to walls and structure because that's what I want first of all. Now what I've got down the bottom here is the size and position window and I just went to view and um, task panes and click that on so you can actually type in the actual sizes of your shape. So there's a the room, comes in at 3 meters by 2 meters, let's have a 10 meter by 10 so I want a 10 meter by 10 meters shape now if I zoom that in a little bit you can see that a bit better so now just that's the size of it now what I want to do is put some spaces in there some floor space so when I bring this office space the default size is 3 meters it says 3000 millimeters but 3 meters by 3 meters which is there so in each of these offices, I want to create a door at the beginning you can, and a window on the side or on the back. Let's put it on the back. In fact, we'll put it on the side. I have to spin that round so it fits in there. And I want that to snap into that shape like so. And then I need to just group these three things so we can move them around and copy them quite quickly. So click on group. And then that's one item. So if I move that and position them into the walled area or the room, and then I want four of these, so let's put one in each corner. So I'm just going to move that to the right and use my control key to copy it. See the little plus comes up there. So I'll copy it, and then I'll do the same in the other corners, like so. So quickly you can. Um, position things there. Now, before I do that, actually, I've made a mistake there because the door needs to be on the other side. So I will do another space. It's the same size. And I need to put the door at the top. The window can stay the same, but the door needs to be at the top, like so. And the window needs to be at the same side. I think I'll put that in there. So there we go. Then I'll group that one, and that can be the rooms for the bottom. So group, group, and then move, everything moves together, position that where you want it to go, hold your control key down and make a copy of it, and push that where it wants to go. Um, and I've just noticed that the window is on the wrong side again, so let's just move these in a little bit. We'll create a corridor or something down there like so, so I don't have to keep redoing that. So that bit there is just about grouping different shapes so you can move them and copy them quite quickly. Now let's put some doors in to the main building. Door there snaps into the, uh, the wall and do the same on the other side. It snaps in. Now if you want the door to open the other way you just move it around like so and you can position that so it opens outwards. And if we put a couple of windows in, let's have a little window in the, this area in the outside wall and again the windows can be as big or as small as you need them to be the default size is 90 centimeters and you can have a big window or a small window it's, it's up to you just put one more in there so now once you've done this you've got all the all the structure the base of the of the building set up uh, and obviously you would know what you needed to do 
what you can do is just highlight all of this area and create a layer so it locks it in and then lock that layer so it locks it in place um, so over on the home tab you've got layers and you can assign to layers assign to layer first so I want a new layer I'm just gonna call that sax okay okay now you need to go into layer properties to lock that so layer properties there it is so I'll just lock that into position you can change the color if you want click OK now that's in position locked so what you could have also done is put the plug sockets power sockets and then lock that in, in, in position like this one is so now if I try and move any of these I can't move them so that's just ideal for um, placing furniture and things like that on there now there's no furniture laid out in this area at the moment but if I search for furniture let's see what comes up okay we've got some furniture there so we've got a casual table now you need to have a look at the size of this so this table is that size there 540 by 914 you may buy tables that are different sizes to this and again if I say that this is a thousand millimeters and this is 600 millimeters that's the size of the table that you've bought so if I click on that it remains the same size and then if you use your control key again you can make a copy of that let's get ourselves three little tables so we can position these tables now wherever we want to put them so if I put one there and put one there and put one on the other side down the corner here by the window and then you've got a couple of chairs so again the chairs if I bring the chairs in that's um, more like an office chair but we've got some sofas that have come up and I could search for other um, bits and bobs of furniture if I want just by typing it in there or you can go look for the actual stencil itself so if I go for a two-seater sofa where can I put that um, let's put that right in the middle there and let's get another one and put it facing it in fact yeah so we've got them back to back there so if I turn turn this one round so it's um, facing the other way you can see how that how that fits now if you want to um, sort of change the colors of these you can just click on them and just sort of stand out a bit a bit better because they're like a bit translucent when they come onto there so we've got two uh, I suppose we probably need another little table in there so I'll, cop I'll move this one into the middle like so so we've got a little table and you can see your two chairs now what I want to get rid of this to get rid of this you need to click that little cross get rid of that and if I go up through some of these other stencils you've got like different circles and stuff like that let's have a look at this circle so I want this to be a two meter circle So that's a two meter circle and I want to put a line across that with the word two or the, the phrase two meters or two meters. So if I go up to get myself a little line, line, and just draw that line straight through there and snap it into position and then put the pointer tool back on. If I then go over to line, I've got the option of putting arrow heads on and the one I want is the double headed one. So if I click on that, that becomes a double headed arrow. And then you can double click on that and put your label on which in this case is going to be two meters click away and there you've got your label two meters and again if I want to um, group this I need to highlight it all like so go back across to group select group and it becomes one item and now this is the um, distance for COVID safety so if you wanted to do a floor plan that had the COVID areas marked out, I'll just zoom that back out, you would need this sort of shape. So two meters, you might want to paint that on the on the floor of the room. So I'll just pull across two meters. You know, so you've just got two big circles there that are indicating there is a two meter gap and maybe you would have to if you look at this one you might have to move this furniture out of the way completely and 
um, there's not enough space in there for people to go so you may want to move that out and have this as a completely empty empty space with all these circles giving you the measurements so people can see when they're two meters away it's totally up to you but that is how you can do that and if you're going to use this again you can add this to your own stencil so let's just um, have a look at doing that where it says more shapes if you go in there you've got the option down the bottom to say uh, create a new stencil so I'll just create a new one and then because I've now created this shape and I'm going to use it elsewhere I'm just going to push that into this stencil and then I need to give it a name I'll just call it two meters so it's obvious so that's called two meters and then you save your stencil and your stencil is then available to search for in call it two meter with all your other stencils so I'll save that and then if you want to close this stencil you've got a save option there you've got close and then if you want to get it back you now go open stencils and then the two meter one is at the top and you open that stencil and then you're ready to pull that shape back on so it's quite a useful thing to do in Visio is to create your own stencils and then add shapes that you want to get um, to quickly so we could have um, created this space and added furniture in there but these are just um, small rooms three by three you wouldn't get much furniture in there should have probably put them four by four and in a real office scenario they would be quite uh, quite a bit larger than that but they're and they're all locked down remember so this is all um, part of a layer now these shapes I've just put on at the moment are not part of a layer but you could also make them a layer you could click on these these two with your shift key and you could make them those a layer as well and then lock those in place so you create many many layers if you want but that's all I want to talk about for this little example how to create an office plan how to look at creating layers and locking layers how to create your own shape and then how to group shapes and then how to create your own stencil and add your own shapes to that stencil and then save that stencil for later use. So hopefully that this has been of use to you and I can see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.